Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Love Stinks on the acoustic guitar. So this is, um, this is not what the band does. Uh, they're on electric guitar and so forth. So uh, I'm going to do it on the acoustic, show you a way you can do it on the acoustic. There's also a video for what exactly what they do on the electric. Uh, you can look for that. Thanks. All right, happy Valentine's Day, by the way. And Love Does Stink. All right, so on the acoustic guitar, we're going to just kind of like simplify it a little bit. So if you want to play it on the acoustic. So you need a C chord, uh, fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. Mute the sixth string. That's my C chord. Uh, any G chord will do. Uh, we could do this one. Sixth string, uh, third fret, fifth string, second fret, second and first string at the third fret. You can use that one if you like. But really, any G chord you have in your arsenal, you can use. That goes for the C chord, too. Uh, the F chord, I'm going to give you three different ways you could play it. The hard way would be to bar the whole first fret, the uh, third string, second fret, fifth and fourth string at the third fret. That's your big bar chord. I probably won't go with that one. I don't like it. <laughs> it's not because it's painful or hard to get to. I just don't like the sound of it. Uh, the one that I, I probably will do... Um, or you could do, this is the easier way, is the fourth, thr fourth string, third fret, third string, second fret, second string, first fret, and uh, I'm gonna, you know, you can mute the sixth string, mute the first string, so it's just like a small version. My third finger plays on such an angle that I end up muting that, that fifth string can hear the harmonic. You can do that little F chord if you want. Uh, I will, I may, grab the uh, sixth string with my thumb and that's the third version okay so it's the same as the small version but now I got my thumb wrapped around on the first fret sixth string uh, some of you your hands just can't do that but uh, I couldn't do that at first and uh, I worked on it worked on it. I was working on Hendrix tunes and uh, he does that all the time and I worked it out uh, it was painful for quite a while a couple weeks uh, three I don't know for a while, and and it ended up coming around. My thumb worked it out way, work worked it out. So, <laughs> okay, all right. Last chord. Uh, this one's kind of uh, important to play this way. It's an A5. I'm going to play the open fifth string, the fourth and the third string at the second fret, like that. Uh, I'm going to try and avoid the second and the first string as best I can with my pick. Uh, I'll probably mute the sixth string with my uh, with my thumb. Uh, when you get to it, we'll talk about it. It's in the verse. Uh, and that's all you need for chords, okay? So the intro, which is the same as the chorus, would be a C chord. G, F, to a G. And that's your intro. So let's, let's go through it. You got a C chord, two downs. Then I go to a G chord, and I'll probably go up, down on that. So like that. Then you grab an F chord, you do two downs on the F. Okay, now here comes the hard part. Uh, I'm going to go to a G chord and I'll probably go... So on the electric they go... So they hit it down, down, something like that, right? But we can't get the muted strings when we're doing this open G chord like this. So the best we can do is uh, kind of mute it. So we go... Doing it up, and then I kind of let my fingers off the strings, and so some of the strings are muted. You can do it like that. So, up, down, up, down, something like that. Uh, so, the whole thing would sound like this. four times as an intro. When it comes to the chorus later on, you do it four times also. So it's the same thing every time. Okay, now we're on to the verse. The verse, you play a C chord, where is it? Uh, C chord down. So that's the verse. They do it four times in a row, just like that. So it's C, two downs. Then you're going to go to an F. You could go two quick downs or something like that. I might go 
I might go up down on that so just like that so down down up down so C C F, F. and then you go to the C C then I'm gonna just grab the strings like this and go like that before the A and then go on the A I just go it's like they do down 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 and you do that four times in a row so C to F C A A A and you do that four times in a row it's uh, it's actually an A5 not an A I keep saying A but that would not work that second string right there doesn't sound good either so they just they do an A5 which is just an A and an E those two notes plus another A on top that's a power chord okay so you do that four times and you immediately go right to a G and then love stinks that's the pre-chorus okay so the pre-chorus is a G like this going to go down, up, down, and then down, up, down, and then down, and then an F for a down, you hold it for four beats, and then love stinks, love stinks, and then the chorus comes in, just like the intro, okay? So let me play, I'm going to play the verse and go right into the pre-chorus so you can hear it, okay? So... and then you're on to the that's the, uh, that's the chorus which is the intro and uh, there's only one other thing you need um, let's see let me see if I can find it uh, let me give you the form of the song so it's an intro a verse pre-chorus and then the chorus then they go back to the verse again then another pre-chorus then another chorus then there's a synth solo, which you play the verse chords to, uh, behind, okay? That's all you do, and then you go right into the pre-chorus. Then you play the chorus two times in a row, and then here's the interlude, which sounds like this, and then, you, and then this is also the outro for the whole song. So they do the same thing on, um, as the chorus, or the intro, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but they only do it once, like this. <laughs> a C to a G to an F to a G to the G uh, just like that and then the C and then when you get to the F you, you do the two downs like you did before but then you let go and you mute all the strings and you go down up down up down up down up really quick so 16th notes is like eight of them so And then, of course, you'd end on a C chord. All right, any comments, suggestions, confessions, anything? Uh, play more guitar, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe.